Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan natin ay solving problems involving kite. Pero bago yan, alamin muna natin ang ilang mga important details about kite. Kite is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of consecutive congruent sides but opposite sides are not congruent. So, ito class yung kanyang uh, congruent sides. Pero yung kanyang opposite sides are not congruent. Next naman ay yung theorems on kite. Theorem number 10 in a kite, the perpendicular bisector of at least one diagonal is the other diagonal. Ibig sabihin, if segment EO is a diagonal of a kite that bisect perpendicularly segment LB, then line segment LB is also a diagonal of kite. Theorem number 11. The area of a kite is half the product of the length of its diagonals. Halimbawa na lang, if the diagonals of the kite measures 5 cm and 10 cm, then the area of the kite is measured 25 squared cm. Next is perpendicular diagonals of a kite. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. Line segment AC is perpendicular to line segment BD. It only means that line segment AC and line segment BD intersect at a right angle. Next is opposite angles of a kite. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So unlike class sa parallelogram na two pairs of opposite angles are congruent, sa kite, only one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle C. But angle B is not congruent to angle D. After getting familiar with the definition and some important details about kite, we are now ready to solve problems involving kite. So, quadrilateral play is a kite. Number 1, PA is equal to 12 cm. LY is equal to 6 cm. So, ito class yung ating diagonal PA, 12 cm. At ito naman yung ating diagonal LY, 6 cm. So, the question is, what is the area of a kite play? So, para masolve natin class, ang area ng kite, pwede nating magamit na guide ang theorem number 11. So, theorem number 11, the area of a kite, is half the product of the length of its diagonal. Ibig sabihin, ang area ng kite ay equal sa kalahati ng product ng kanyang diagonals. So, gagawan lang natin ito ng equation or ng formula. So, A is equal to one half of the product of diagonal PA and diagonal LY. Next naman, is a substitute natin ang value ng diagonal PA and diagonal LY. So, magiging A is equal to 1 half of 12 cm times 6 cm. Tapos, multiply lang natin class yung 12 cm sa 6 cm. And 12 times 6 is equal to 72. Kaya po magiging 72 squared centimeter. Pagkatapos, multiply lang natin yung 1 half sa 72 squared centimeter. So, magiging final answer natin class is 
36 squared centimeter. So, yung area ng kite play is 36 squared centimeter. Next, number 2. Area of a kite play is equal to 135 squared centimeter. And diagonal LY is equal to 9 centimeter. How long is diagonal PA? So, dito class, given natin ay yung area at isang diagonal. Pero doon pa rin tayo class magbe-base sa ginawa nating equation or formula kanina. So, area is equal to 1 half times the product of diagonal PA and diagonal LY. So, ang kailangan lang natin gawin ay i-derive natin itong ating formula. So, dapat ma-isolate natin yung diagonal PA sa isang side ng equation since siya yung hinahanap natin sa problem. So, una, kailangan natin maalis yung LY sa right side ng equation. So, gagamit lang tayo class ng division property of equality. Divide both sides by LY. So, magiging A over LY is equal to 1 half times the quantity of PA. Next, yung 1 half naman ang dapat natin maalis sa right side ng equation. So, ang gagamitin naman natin ay multiplication property of equality. So, multiply both sides by 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2A over LY is equal to PA. And since na-isolate na natin class yung ating PA sa right side ng equation, so pwede na natin gamitin ito as formula to find the measures of diagonal PA. So, ang gagawin natin, substitute lang natin yung given value ng area at ng diagonal LY. So, 2 times the quantity of 135 squared centimeter divided by 9 centimeter is equal to PA. Next, multiply lang natin class yung 2 sa 135 squared centimeter. So, magiging 270 squared centimeter over 9 centimeter is equal to PA. Pagkatapos, i-divide lang natin 270 squared centimeter divided by 9 centimeter is equal to 30 centimeter. So, diagonal PA is 30 centimeter. So, proceed tayo class sa number 3. Find the side lengths of the kite. So, ang inahanap dito ay yung measure ng line segment WX. Line segment XY, line segment WZ, and line segment YZ. Pero dahil yung kite class has two pairs of consecutive congruent sides, Kahit yung line segment WX na lang at line segment XY yung kunin natin. Kasi itong WX class or yung line segment WX is congruent to line segment WZ. And line segment XY is congruent to line segment YZ. At kung mapapansin yung class, meron tayo ditong right triangle. At kung may right triangle, ibig sabihin, we can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the side lengths. So, formula for Pythagorean Theorem is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Tapos, assign lang tayo ng letter sa ating right triangle. So, dito natin class ilalagay yung A, B, and C. Actually, pwede namang magkabaliktad yung A and B. Huwag lang natin kalimutan na yung letter C doon natin kas laging ilalagay sa longest side ng triangle na tinatawag nating hypotenuse. Next, substitute natin class yung given value ng A and B at yung C natin, siya yung ating 
line segment WX. So, 12 squared plus 20 squared is equal to the quantity of WX squared. Then, substitute natin yung given value ng A and B. At yung si natin, yun yung line segment WX. So, 12 squared plus 20 squared is equal to WX quantity squared. So, 12 squared is equal to 144 and 20 squared is equal to 400. Kaya po magiging 144 plus 400 is equal to WX quantity squared. Tapos, add natin 144 plus 400 is equal to 544. Next step, Kunin natin class yung square root ng both sides ng equation. So, magiging square root of 544 is equal to Wx. And since hindi perfect square class yung 544, kailangan natin i-factor na yung isang factor ay perfect square tulad class ng 16 and 34. Tapos, kunin natin yung square root ng 16. So, square root ng 16 is 4. Kaya po, magiging 4 is square root of 34. So, line segment WX is equal to 4 is square root of 34. Para naman sa line segment XY, ganun din ang gagawin natin. So, lagay lang tayo ulit class ng A, B, and C. Then, substitute natin class yung value ng A and B. So, 12 squared plus 12 squared is equal to XY quantity squared. So, 12 squared is 144. Kaya po, 144 plus 144. And 144 plus 144 is equal to 288. Tapos, kunin natin class yung square root ng both sides para makancel natin yung square. So, magiging square root of 288 is equal to xy. Then, kunin natin yung square root ng 288. So, hindi ulit perfect square class yung 288. So, kailangan natin uli siyang i-factor. So, yung factor natin dito is 144 times 2. Since yung 144 class is perfect square number. Pero hindi ko na may lagay. Wala na tayo masyadong space. So, kunin na natin kagad yung square root ng 144. So, square root ng 144 is 12. Kaya po magiging 12 is square root of 2. So, line segment XY is equal to 12 is square root of 2. And for our last example, Number 4, find measure of angle G and angle J. At dahil class yung kite ay quadrilateral, yung sum ng interior angles nito is equal to 360 degree. So ito yung gagamitin natin para makagawa tayo ng equation or ng formula. So measure of angle G plus angle H plus angle J plus angle K is equal to 360 degree. And since yung G, H, J, K is a kite, angle G, so itong angle G natin class, is congruent to angle J. So gagawin na lang natin itong 2 times uh, measure of angle G plus measure of angle H plus measure of angle K is equal to 360 degree. So, pinagsama na natin class yung angle G tsaka angle J. So, minultiply na lang natin sa 2. Then, substitute natin class yung given value ng angle H and angle K. So, magiging uh, 2 times the quantity of angle G plus 132 degree plus 60 degree is equal to 360 degree. Then, i-add natin 
132 plus 60 is equal to 192. Next, uh, gagamitan natin class ng subtraction property of equality. So, para mailipat natin or ma-eliminate yung 192, subtract natin both sides by 192. So, magiging 2 times measure of angle G is equal to 168. So, saan nang galing class yung 168? Dahil nag-subtract tayo both sides by 192. So, 192 minus 192 is equal to 0. And 360 minus 192 is equal to 168. So, next naman, gagamitan naman natin ng division property of equality. Para ma-isolate natin class yung angle G sa left side ng equation. So, i-divide natin both sides by 2. So, magiging uh, angle G is equal to 84 degree. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Kung yung angle G natin class is 84 degree, so yung angle G natin is also equal to 84 degree. So, hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron po kayong hindi naintindihan at meron kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.